Welcome to Anomalies, the channel that uncovers AI abnormalities. Join us as we explore the unexpected behaviors and glitches in artificial intelligence. AI wins art competition, and the award goes to a computer program? All right, gather round, art fans and techies, because we've got ourselves a doozy. Picture this, Colorado State Fair, fine art competition, blue ribbons galore. But this year, the spotlight wasn't just on oil paints and charcoal sketches. Nope, it was stolen by a digital canvas crafted not by human hands, but by artificial intelligence. The winning piece? A stunning, almost dreamlike image called Theater d'Opera Spatial. Imagine an opera house, but make it space age, with astronauts and celestial bodies thrown in for good measure. It's the kind of art that makes you go, whoa, that's pretty cool. But here's the kicker, it was created using Midjourney, an AI program that generates images from text descriptions. The artist behind this digital masterpiece? A fella named Jason Allen. Now, Jason didn't exactly paint this with a mouse and keyboard. He basically fed Midjourney a bunch of keywords and phrases, like opera house in space or astronaut singing, and let the AI do its thing, churning out image after image until he found the perfect one. And wouldn't you know it, the judges ate it up. They awarded Theater Dopera Spatial the top prize in the digital art category, seemingly none the wiser about its AI origins. And that's where the story really gets interesting, folks, because when news broke that a computer program had essentially won an art competition, the internet went full-on supernova. The artist's digital hand? So, what exactly is Midjourney? Think of it like a supercharged Photoshop on steroids, except instead of brushes and filters, you've got algorithms and datasets. You feed it words, it spits out pictures. Pretty straightforward, right? Well, sort of. See, Midjourney doesn't just randomly slap pixels together. It's been trained on a massive library of images and text, learning to associate words with visual elements, styles, and compositions. So when Jason Allen typed in his prompts, Midjourney didn't just conjure images out of thin air. It drew upon its vast knowledge base to create something new, something that reflected the essence of his words, but also went beyond them. It's like giving a thousand artists a single brief and having them all interpret it in their own way. Only in this case, the artists are lines of code and the canvas is a digital screen. But here's the million dollar question. Is it still art if a human wasn't directly responsible for every brushstroke, every shade, every detail? Outrage, brushes down, tempers up. As you can imagine, the art world, a place not exactly known for its mild reactions, went absolutely bonkers. Artists, critics, and art enthusiasts alike took to the internet, their digital palettes dripping with indignation. It's cheating, cried some, their virtual fists shaking at the digital sky. AI art is nothing more than glorified plagiarism. Others fumed, their digital easels trembling with rage. Social media became a battleground of hashtags and hot takes. Hashtag art is dead trended alongside hashtag AI overlords, each tweet a brushstroke in a digital mural of outrage. The traditionalists felt betrayed, their skills seemingly rendered obsolete by a bunch of ones and zeros. The digitally inclined argued that AI was just a new tool, a digital brush in the hands of a new generation of artists. The debate raged on, a digital tempest in a teacup, or perhaps more accurately, a digital hurricane in a terabyte-sized server. Art or algorithm? Now, remember those judges who awarded Theater Dopera Spatial the big prize? Turns out, they weren't exactly experts in the finer points of AI art. In fact, they admitted they had no idea a computer program was involved. Talk about awkward. It's like giving a Michelin star to a microwave meal because you didn't realize a chef wasn't slaving away in the kitchen. But here's the thing. The judges, despite being made to look like they just stumbled out of the digital dark ages, refused to change their decision. They argued that the art was judged on its own merits, regardless of its origins. And maybe, just maybe, they had a point. After all, isn't art supposed to evoke emotion, to spark conversation, to challenge our perceptions? And didn't Theater Dopper Spatial do just that, albeit with a little help from some silicon and algorithms? A canvas of questions. So, where do we go from here? Is AI art the future, 
A brave new world of creativity where algorithms and imagination collide? Or is it a threat? A digital tsunami poised to wash away centuries of artistic tradition? Honestly, folks, nobody knows. And that's the beauty of it, isn't it? Art, in all its forms, has always been about pushing boundaries, about exploring new frontiers. Maybe AI is just another tool in the artist's ever-expanding toolbox. Or maybe it's something more, a creative partner, a muse for the digital age. One thing's for sure, the art world will never be the same. The lines between human and machine, between creativity and computation, have been blurred, perhaps irrevocably. So, what's the big picture? Look, I'm no art critic, I just play one on TV. But I think this whole AI art thing raises some pretty big questions about what it means to be creative, what it means to be human. Are we really so special if a computer program can create art that moves us, inspires us, challenges us? Or does it simply mean that creativity, like intelligence, can manifest itself in ways we never imagined? I don't have the answers, folks. But I do know this. The future of art is going to be weird, it's going to be messy, and it's going to be utterly fascinating. So buckle up, because things are about to get interesting. And that's a wrap on today's exploration into the fascinating realm of AI anomalies. If you enjoyed unraveling the mysteries with us, don't forget to show some love. Hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to click the notification bell so you never miss a moment of our captivating insights. Until then, stay curious, stay connected, and keep exploring the wonders of AI with us.